Hello, are you ready to ride with me? Let's do it. Let's put your helmet on, glasses, and we are going for a ride. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this ride today. I'd like to show you right here all the controls that you have. You have the starter right here, you have the kill switch right here. On the other side, you have the position slides right here, emergency light. Right here, you have the horn. Right here, you have the turn signal. Right here, you have the high bin and low bin. On this position right here, you have your speed, your fuel right here. The RPM, the repetition per minute of your scooter, right here you have the high beam and low beam light, and this one, sometimes is the battery, sometimes is the brake light, sometimes they want to be fun in China and show you this one that is something funny. Right here we have the turn signal, okay? Okay, let's go for a ride, make sure you put your turn signal and you stop at any stop that you have to stop and we turn a turn right so we put the right signal right now and today we are going for a ride and we are on the south part of West Palm Beach and we're gonna go right make sure you all the time when you look you know when you turn left right all the time be careful because uh, sometimes you really have to pay attention or really all the time you have to pay attention okay so look around stop try to don't stop like 20 feet away from the stop sign stop on the line okay so after that if you don't see too much try to put your turn signal and you go okay Now try to keep a safe speed with your scooter. You don't really want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow. See, always look at the people, what they're doing. Keep yourself in control of the area, okay? It's very important. Now try to make yourself visible. You know, if people don't look at you, even wave at them. You have a horn right here on your scooter that you can you know, you can press any time. Just press the horn any time when you feel you're not safe. The horn is free to push. There is no charge for the horn, okay? If you feel that you're not safe, try to stay in a location where people is gonna see you. Try to stay a little more on the right of the street where you can have an area where you can escape and just in case there is any kind of problem, okay? So, try to stop, put your feet down when you stop and then you put your turn signal and you go right or left, okay? When you are at the traffic light try to stay away from cars especially look at your rear mirror they're very important your mirror because uh, just by surprise somebody might crash on you when you are standing on the traffic light so be ready for anything be ready for everything that can happen okay so let's go our speed today is about 25 miles an hour. You know, if you look, if you go for a long ride with your scooter, try to have a spe steady speed. It's good for fuel consumption. Consumption. It's good for your motor because it's gonna stay cool, and it's good for you too because. Uh, the, you know, the more lower the speed that you have, uh, the more control you have on the scooter, and you more control of the other situations, 
But sometimes things can happen when you are with your scooter. And uh, if things happen and you are at a lower speed, then you can react better. If you are going very fast, uh, sometimes you cannot even react uh, and you have an accident. You know, if you see a car, try to keep uh, your finger on the horn. You don't, you don't have to press it, but just in case some people try to, you know, go in the middle of the street, enter in the street they are coming from, you know, try to keep the finger on the horn. It's very important because uh, that will take you a fraction of a second of uh, pushing that horn and let the people know that you are there, okay? Try to play a little trick with the microphone today. I hope it's going to work okay. But sometimes when you're riding your scooter, there is a lot of wind, okay? Right here, we're going left. I really want to bring you to a place to see something that is very interesting, okay? That is the ride for today. It's a little short ride to see something really interesting. Today is such a beautiful day in South Florida, nice sunny, but it is freezing, it's really cold. So, we're talking about 60 for down here. It's not really freezing like up north. But you no, know, for us down here, it's winter. But I, hope, I hope you like my Santa, Santa video that I just did a few days ago. Unfortunately, they, you know, I needed like a camera person, okay, to show you better what I was doing. So I was trying to do everything by myself, but I didn't really come up the great way. But next year, we're going to do something a lot better, okay? I promise. So let's go. Try to keep yourself on the right side. But not too much on the right, because if you keep yourself too much on the right side, you might find debris, nails, uh, uh, lots of stuff on the right side of the street that is not good for your tires, okay? Southern Boulevard and going west, actually. There's a lot of police around. Security for the president. Today is a gorgeous day, the temperature is around maybe around 75 down here. Okay, we're just crossing high 95, going west, and we're going to get closer to the airport to see if we can see. One of the biggest and more powerful planes in the world. Stay a little more on the right side of the street because there's a lot of cars going on. Lots of traffic. This one is very high traffic road, so I don't really want to get too close to the other cars. Very dangerous.
Let's slow down a little bit. I'd like to show you the biggest power for plane in the world. This is the Air Force One down here in West Palm Beach. And this is a six story high plane. This plane can refuel in air and uh, it can stay up there in the sky for many, many hours to protect our president. This is one of the biggest planes in the world, made by Boeing. And this one, this plane can reach a speed of 700 miles per hour, just slightly lower than the speed of sound. It's very, if you think this is a really big plane, and this big plane can reach really high speeds. Now you can refuel in the air, you know, with a, another tank plane that is going to be forward in front of him. So with the nose as a little door, they open up, and what it does, uh, it can refuel. This plane is a six-story high plane and also has a, a missile defensive system. This plane is really a state of the heart. Inside there is the apartment of the, of the president and all the office for the president. The president, you know, can take care of business from the plane. So, let's see if we can get closer to see this large plane a little closer. When you enter the street, always try to communicate with other, you know, with all the cars that you enter in the street. You know, try to look around, be safe, you know. Pay attention whatever is going on on the street. Really, really important. Sorry. This plane is one of the biggest planes in the world. This plane is six story high with a refueling system when it's flying and this can fly about 700 miles an hour and keep the president safe for a long time in the air. Also, the body is harmed in the way that not even nuclear bomb can give any problem to this plane. I think this plane is one of the last time that we're gonna see him here in West Palm Beach for a long time because now Biden is in uh, presidency. So what is going to happen? We're only going to see this plane and the president town not really too long. So, but it's nice to see this president in town and for the last time. Make sure when you enter the street, you put the turn signal, make sure you wear an helmet, make sure you have eyeglasses, eye protection, 
especially if you have gloves is also better in the winter time or if you fall down with your scooter it's better if you have gloves right here we are traveling west on southern boulevard right next to the airport we're going to visit a little more the president airplane that is called air force one and this plane is one of the most powerful plane in earth now when you're riding on the street make sure you keep in control and everything see what everybody else is doing make sure you're notable noticeable you know make sure that people see you and if you are in a really high traffic area try to keep yourself on the right side as much as you can okay here we are inside the airport all around the airport there's a little road that goes around the airport and it kind of shows the airport all around there's a lot of people today because with the president in town a lot of people is around the airport and, and see the big plane for the last time West Palm Beach Airport is an international airport but not really really too international because uh, you cannot land really 747 or really large planes down here because uh, you know, for the houses in Palm Beach it's not a good thing because they, they can get damaged so right here we're getting a location where there's a lot of people We're getting close to the plane that is over here, Air Force One, and you can see the plane I think from inside here. We can try to go inside here and see if we can see the plane. This one is Atlantic, and this is a place where they keep all the planes. Wow! I really want to see if I can see the plane. We have to go very slow because there is a lot of police around and uh, we have to respect everything that we can without giving too much problem to anybody. For sure there is a lot of undercover police. And yeah, we cannot see too much the plane from here. Because uh, it's being protected by buses. really close to the president plane Air Force One but I really don't feel too comfortable to be over here because there is a lot of police around here and uh, there is a lot of control there is a lot of undercover police that you know what they do they check on the plane they want to make sure the plane is safe because it's, yes the president is really safe but even the plane is really safe because uh, I think the plane costs maybe like two billion dollar or something like that very high price plane so 
they really want to make sure that the plane is safe, that everybody else around is safe. So, oh, okay, let's see, we're getting closer. There's a lot of cars. I like this new Porsche. This one, I think, is an electric Porsche. Oh, you know, it's half electric, half. Uh, half gas so this is we can see the tail of the plane from this side This is the plane of the president. That's what Trump was his transportation until now. And it's going to be here in West Palm Beach for maybe like a few hours. I think it's gonna refuel and then it's gonna go back to Washington DC. That's where his house, you know, his home for this plane. That's where it's going to stay. And uh, I think uh, the pilot of this plane is an Air Force One pilot. You know, he's been working for the Air Force for many years. Uh, and I think they're building a new plane for Biden that is going to come up very soon. But this one is a four, 747 plane. And uh, there is a number that is on the top of the tail. Did, did he already come out? Oh, yeah, he's already home. He's already home. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Huh? I think it's a 1.7 billion dollar plane. Million dollars? 1.7 billion. Yeah. Billion? With a billion. Billion. Yeah. Oh, that's God. crazy. This one can fly uh, 720 miles an hour. Slightly oh. lower than the speed of the of the sound. Slightly lower. I like your scooter, man. Oh, let me show you. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a nice scooter, man. I like them. That's a cool plane. Have a good day, man. Bye. All right. I think it's time to go. Let's go for a ride. Okay, we are on the street right now. Please be careful when you're on the street. On the street is always a bit dangerous, you know, the street, uh, you have to be careful to everything. And this is the West Palm Beach Airport. See, there is all the runways and the runways on the airport that kind of makes it like a cross line that's how they made it here on West Palm Beach the right side street right here is Southern Boulevard and on the left side we have the airport I really want to learn to fly one day but I don't know, I'm kind of scared of high to be high in the sky and uh, they don't charge a lot of money right down here to uh, to try to fly, to t they teach you to fly maybe like $100 an hour and it's not bad for the price there's a Lantana, uh, there's a place where you can uh, you can learn, there's I think Liquid or area like that that you can learn. I saw there's a place in Fort Lauderdale. There's a lot of places where you can learn how to fly a plane. A small plane, not really a big one, because the big one, the double engines, the jet engine. I think you need to go to college and learn uh, the motors and uh, learn a lot of stuff for the plane. But just for a single motor, Cessna, like Cessna plane, those, those are, you can learn, then you can take the test, you can take the, 
you know, the driver license to, you know, fly a plane. Okay, right here, we are inside the airport right now. So, right here, we have the airport. Can be cool, like, to get a, like, a nice scooter and prepare the scooter and make the scooter really fast and then go on a runway of a of an airport and run like crazy that nobody can stop you, you know there's no speed limit over there there is a sound right here there is a big sound right here at the airport that they have for the planes and for the birds. It that scares the birds away. Because they want to keep the birds away from the plane. Because if a bird goes inside a plane or goes inside the motor of the plane, there is a big problem, okay? So, keeping away those birds away from the plane it's always better. So what many times they're using real real eagles or real hawks, you know, hawks like a big uh, big eagles to scare away all the birds. Okay. Okay. Now we are going uh, close to Belvedere. We're gonna go to close to Wawa. There is a place called Wawa that they make great coffee. Make sure you put your turn signal. Don't enter the lines when it's straight line, okay? You're now allowed. So you have to enter the line before you start the straight line. Now, make sure you put your turn signal. Make sure you look left and right when you enter another road. This one is a Belvedere. This one and is in West Palm Beach. And it goes east to west. It kind of if you go straight on Belvedere it will bring you to the intercoastal worldway. Now if you see the the traffic light is red, release your throttle, let the scooter roll by himself and get closer to the stop, okay, before the line. You know, there is, there is an electrical field on the floor, if you look here in Florida, on the floor with wires that are connected to the traffic light. They will let the traffic, know, traffic light know that you are here. If you stop 20 or 30 feet before and there is no lines on the floor, floor you are uh, out of the electrical field of the traffic light. So a lot of people stay away from these lines, but if they don't step on it or they don't stay on it like a car, the traffic light is not going to change color and go green. So people do not understand that. And right here we are, under the bridge. See, if this one is the first time for you riding a scooter, 
first before you ride a scooter you really need to be good on riding a motorcycle or riding sorry it's bicycle because bicycle more or less is the same system of a scooter that's the way you turn that's the way you know a low speed you turn right here your handlebar but a higher speed you kind of bend yourself a little bit to turn so before you buy a scooter, learn to ride a nice bicycle, okay? In any terrain, terrain, okay? Even on the street. And uh, even if you are in a bicycle, respect all the sign that you see on the street, the traffic light, the, the stop sign, everything you should respect, okay? So at that point, you will remember when you have a scooter or a motorcycle, that that's what you're supposed to do also try to learn to be safe be visible wear something really visible like a, a bright shirt make sure you have gloves make sure you have glasses make sure you have a helmet you know you really want to make sure that you're going to be safe just in case you're going to fall down Now, right here, we can turn right. And right here. We're going to go left right here as soon as we can. Now, when you turn in left, look forward, look the cars that are coming to you and try to realize they are speed. Because you want to turn, but you want to make sure the car is not going to catch your, or your legs or come in the side of you and crash on you you know so this one is the central district historic of West Palm Beach and this one is a nice area but there's a, only a little problem in this area if you if you want to build a house here you have a problem because it's an historical area, you cannot touch the houses too much. This area has to stay like that. So you cannot improve this area. You know, you can restore, but you cannot improve. You cannot add an extra room to your house because you can only, you know, repaint and improve and retouch the house that you have. So it's better to stay away from here because okay right here we are going left and for today i like to thank you very much for watching my video i hope you enjoy Please feel free to subscribe to my channel at any time and if you have any question, I'm always here for you.